So did I just film a video and the only difference between that video and this one is that I changed hats? Yes. Are we going to ignore it? Yes. Today I wanted to discuss something that is quite frankly ignored among 21 Pilot discussions, even though it seems to be a very pivotal part. And that is the significance of the Borbaki group within the 21 Pilot storyline. Now if you look within 21 Pilot lyrics, it mentions something of a guy named Nicholas Borbaki. This guy is also Nico, also Blurry Face. He goes by Nico, he goes by Blurry Face, but ultimately his name is Nicholas Borbaki. This name is so specific. It is not the first time that we've seen it pop up. In fact, in actual history, there has been a Nicholas Borbaki. In the 1930s, this guy was pretty important to the world of math, which I know nothing about. He changed the way mathematics is taught forever, and he also was not real at all. Yes, Nicholas Borbaki was completely fictional. He was actually made up by the Borbaki group. A group of young men who thought their textbooks just weren't good enough. So they made their own. That led to more books, and then more books, and that had a pretty significant impact on modern mathematics at the time. And you might be thinking, how in the world does that connect to 21 Pilots? Well, today I'm going to try to take a stab at that question. This is in no way like canonical. This is just my theory and my interpretation. If this video somehow gets outdated and there's new information, of course, I will try to fix that. But for now, I'm just gonna give my theories. Now, not only can we go off name alone, Nicholas Borbaki is not the only reference we have that is leading towards the Borbaki group. In fact, if you check on the demon.org website, there is a picture of one of the members. There's also an interview where some poor woman is trying to get Tyler to explain it, and he's just not having it. A, a secret society of French mathematicians? Am I right? Uh, yes. 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 Because I've never heard of mm. this, this group or any of this. No, no, they, they named their group after Nicholas Borbaki. But there is no Nicholas Borbaki, right? They named... They named their group after Blurryface. <laughs> Even though it was what, the 1930s? 30s, yeah. Okay. How did you come across this? I, I don't, what do you mean? To come across them? I mean, I really, like, I had to do some research, and yeah. I was like, who is Nicholas Borbaki? And then I found out that there wasn't a Nicholas Borbaki, right. but, so that's all correct. Yeah, they, they're just a group of mathematicians that named themselves after him. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That isn't the perfect example of what it's like to be in a clique. I'm not sure what is. But the Borbaki group was made up of nine people. That's right, nine. Much like the nine bishops who governed Dima. What's interesting to note is that Nicholas Borbaki made history. He changed mathematics forever, for generations and generations, but he was not real. Fictional person created very real impact. And I believe that statement alone is what connects the 21 Pilots storyline to the Borbaki group. Obviously, the Borbaki group within the 21 Pilots lore are the nine bishops controlling Dima. And like the real Borbaki group, they are creating something that is not real, but has definitely real impact. We think about what they're doing with vialism. Vialism is the religion that controls Dima, that basically tells you you have to self-destruct in order to reach paradise. As Clancy says, this is a hijacked religion. Religion. In fact, the bishops just use power and religion to control the citizens of Dima. They're not looking out for their benefit at all. They're just using them for their own personal gain. The bishops were able to create something that wasn't real, but has a very real impact among its citizens. You see what's going on there. Much like the actual Borbaki group that created this fictional character who had this big impact on math. Now, if you want me to explain the actual math that they did, I won't be able to. Something about input and output and... Oh, they made this, which 21 Pilots have been using for years. But again, it's this idea of they created Nicholas Borbaki, they made history, something that was very much real. The bishops created vialism, which has an impact on its citizens. What's interesting is that it seems like only the Dima citizens believe in vialism. It seems like the banditos and everyone outside of Dima is well aware that this is just propaganda. But of course, to the Dima citizens, this is something that has a very real impact on them. In fact, if you complain complete vialism, you are dead, which is not good. <laughs> but of course, within 21 Pilots, there's always a double meaning. And I think that is the case even within this. If you look outside of the actual story within Dima, you can see this theme again. Fictional story, real impact. 
Tyler has talked about why he created this world. Why did he create Trench and Dima and everything else? Basically, it was him trying to process these feelings, right? He could create a world that he could destroy, that he could control. It gave him some sort of power over these feelings he had in life. Blurry Face in particular is the personification of anxieties, fears, insecurities. Tyler talks about if he could take all of those feelings and make it a person, he could look at him, he could talk to him, he could have a seat at the table. Turning real feelings, confusing feelings, into a person that you can look at makes those more tangible. So Tyler created this world to help himself, but others as well. They have seen hundreds and thousands, possibly millions of posts. Fans saying that 21 Pilots have legitimately helped them during a dark time in their life. And I won't get emotional, okay, but I will admit that 21 Pilots have legitimately changed the trajectory of my life forever in the best way. Obviously what 21 Pilots are doing means something to a lot of people. This whole story of Dima, of Trench, of Clancy, yes even Ned, they're all fictional, they're not real, much like the actual historical Nicholas Borbaki. What they represent, what they mean to Tyler, and what they mean to other people is real. If someone were to follow the storyline and this somehow helped them in their real life, that is a fictional thing having real life impact, much like a fake mathematician who changed history. But I think it also goes back into the concept of what blurry face is. Again, blurry face is just a personification. It is just putting a face to all of those negative feelings we have inside. What blurry face represents is incredibly real to a lot of people. I don't think anyone who has experienced life has lived without a blurry face. But at the end of the day, blurry face is not real. He is just a tool. He is a tool to get you through whatever you're going through. Much like the Borbaki group who use Nicholas just as a name to publish all of these books. Nicholas Borbaki serves a purpose. He is created for a purpose. And the outcome of that is very real, but he is not. I feel like I've been so redundant, but there's so many instances within this storyline that I can pick up of something being created to represent something that is very real, that has a very real impact, but at the end of the day, the thing is not real. Oh, and yeah, they stole the O thing. I don't know what it is. Guys, like, I went to school for psychology for a reason, and that reason is that I can't do math. Like, I, I don't know what you want from me. I can talk about two boys from Ohio, but I can't talk about, like, math. But yeah, there was my theory really tackling what I think the Warbrocky group means within the 21 Pilots storyline. But what do you think about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe, and as always, I will see you in the next one.